For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, now let's do this problem. It's about drinking and driving where they tell you that a normal driver takes 0 .4, 0 0.75 seconds to react when he sees something to start stopping. And then for uh, somebody under the influence, just 0.1% of alcohol, it takes 3 seconds to react and start stopping. So they want you to calculate basically the, dif the difference on the distance that it takes each of the drivers to stop. So let's do the normal driver first. So they're both going at the same velocity of 30 miles per hour, which is equal to 44 feet per second. Now you know that the normal driver takes 0 0.75 seconds to react. So how much distance did it travel while he was reacting? That is given by the velocity times the time. The velocity is 44 feet per second times 0 0.75 seconds. So that means that 33 feet elapsed before the normal driver starts reacting. Then when he starts reacting, he starts decelerating at 2 feet per second square. A is equal to negative 2 feet per second square because it's decelerating D. So V square is equal to V naught square plus 2 times A times delta S. Now the final velocity when you reach a stop is going to be 0. The initial velocity is 44 square plus 2 minus 2 is the acceleration times delta s. And delta s is how much this time it elapsed when he starts to stop. So when you solve for delta s, you get that this is equal to 484 feet. And this is the distance traveled before he starts stopping. So the total distance for a normal driver when he sees something and he starts to stop at this deceleration is the addition of these two and it comes out to be 517 feet to stop. Now let's do the call it influenced driver. Influenced driver. Now they both start stopping at the, they both stop at the same acceleration, which is negative two feet per second. So this equation is still true. And it comes out to be 484 feet when he steps on the brakes. So that distance remains the same. However, it takes him longer to react, three seconds. So the distance that he was going at 44 feet per second, and the three seconds that it took him to react is given by V, times t. So b is 44 feet per second and t is 3 seconds this time which comes out to be 132 feet. So the total distance that it took the influence driver to stop is given by the sum of 484 and 132 which is 616 feet to stop. So final answer for, for how much distance it took the normal driver to stop and final answer for how much distance it took the influence driver to stop. As you can see, there's a difference of about 130 feet. So don't drink and drive. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.